If you've been listening to my winter weather forecast and you're daydreaming about a sun-soaked getaway, you're not alone. If you're fortunate enough to travel and been, have been tempted to try scuba diving, but might be a little hesitant, hi, that's me. Uh, we are going to take you under the waves and into the world of scuba. Our travel expert, Lauren Christie, is in Barbados right now. He was scuba diving just yesterday. He joins us on dry land this morning with what you need to know. Lauren, it looks beautiful behind you. It is amazing. I'm just outside of Bridgetown, Barbados, and actually more specifically, I'm at the Crystal Cove by Elegant Hotels, which is one of Marriott's ever-growing uh, inclusive resort properties across the Caribbean and Mexico. So really excited to be here. I went out yesterday, as you said, with Westside Scuba Center. I had an amazing time. And I should point out, Kelsey, that adventure travel, you know, Sunwing just released a survey uh, about a month ago. And, you know, a quarter of Canadians now, when they travel, they want adventure. They want experience more than just a sun holiday. So I'm just one of those but I chose scuba. Okay, so scuba diving, I'm not going to lie, it feels really intimidating to a beginner. It's something I've never done. I've done snorkeling. Uh, I've gone swimming in the ocean, but I have not done scuba. So if you want to try, uh, where do you start? Because you, I, you need to be certified. Am I correct in thinking that? You are actually incorrect. You do not oh. actually need to be certified. You can do a discovery class or an introductory class, which you can do the day of. An instructor will take you out. They will show you the basics. They will do a little bit of the safety lessons with you. So you learn how to take out your regulator. You can learn how to clear water out of your mask. But again, don't pay attention to how I'm doing it. You want to make sure that that instructor is PADI certified, which is the Professional Association of Diving Instructors. And as long as you have a PADI certified instructor, you're good with the beginner thing just to try it the day of. And I will point out there's 66 hundred of them around the world in 180 countries so easy to do on the flip side i actually did get patty certified myself 10 years ago uh, and it was a great experience it takes a couple of days and i did my open water when i went down to curacao um, but that's a little bit more of a commitment and i'm glad i did it but you know yesterday i hadn't been scuba diving since pre-covid so to do this refresher course with a uh, wonderful certified patty instructor peter uh, from the west side scuba center it was awesome Okay, right. well, that takes a huge barrier out of the way. And then from a practical standpoint, timing matters when it comes to scuba and flights. Why is that? Timing really does matter because you actually, because you're going underneath, uh, you, the nitrogen, when you go down below in the water, the nitrogen builds up in your blood. And so it actually increases your chances of uh, decompression sickness. So you're not technically allowed to fly for 18 hours. And most people just say make it a flat 24 after you've done scuba diving. So if it's something you think you want to do, do it at the beginning of the holiday, not at the end. Plus, if you really like it, you can do it a couple times. Lauren, what would you say are some of the best spots to enjoy diving? Well, you know what? For me, the ones I've been to, Barbados is awesome. It's all about shipwrecks and seahorses here. Uh, I've enjoyed St. Lucia, Curacao. But really what you want on the on those bucket list destinations, you're looking for great visibility. You're looking for warm water, lack of current, easy uh, above surface conditions. And the places that really, you know, everybody wants to go to, Fiji, soft coral capital of the world. There are over uh, four, over 42% of Fiji's, of, of the world's coral species are in Fiji. There's my stat. Um, secondly, Egypt is great. Marsa Alam in particular, it's called the Underwater Garden of Eden. They have 1,200 species of fish, 250 species of coral. And then, of course, the Maldives, which has this amazing variety of uh, marine animals and everything and beautiful clear water. Producer Katie, who just did this segment with me, was just there last week with her partner and said it was mind-blowingly awesome. So oh. um, those are my three bucket list ones for sure. But again, the Caribbean has lots of places you can go. You can go. Listen, Lauren, you know how to travel. You love the adventure. I would also like to point out right before the segment, I could see you doing jumping jacks uh, on camera. So you like to stay busy. I hope you're having a great time. <laughs> When are you back? That's How my energy level. I'm just here for a couple more days. Uh, that was that was just for my energy level. I didn't realize I was on camera for that. But again, <laughs> see, people like to be active on holiday, and that's all I was doing. Listen, growing numbers of, in, of resorts like this Marriott one and all of them around the Caribbean are trying to increase that adventure travel for people. So come down. Whether you want to do jumping jacks, samba <laughs> lessons, kickboxing classes, they got it all. Listen, Lauren, you did a great job. Thank you for the showcase on Scuba, and have a great rest of your your trip. Thanks, Kels. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.